Welcome back. Now, the illegal occupation of land currently taking place in Tabanchu in the free state is unacceptable. Those are the strong words of Khosi uh, Khabuilelwe Khabu uh, Moroka of the Barulong Boseleka traditional community. She says, although she acknowledges that there are people genuinely desperate for housing, the law must be upheld. So, uh, just how big is this problem in Tabanchu exactly? Khosi joins us uh, live now just to give us more details. Thank you very much. Uh, for your time, Jose, here on ENCA. Uh, just give me an indication. Is the situation that bad in Tabanchu uh, in terms of land grabs? Uh, greetings, myself, and greetings to the viewers of ENCA. Yes, indeed, uh, the problem that we're facing is quite enormous, um, and it is really unacceptable. Thank mm. you. So, but does this not show then the desperation of the people of Tabancho in terms of waiting so long to be given permanent structures? It, it does indeed uh, show that, uh, myself, but we, we must also put the facts on the table. And what we have realized is that there, there are some forces behind this deliberate um, drive to destabilize uh, Tabancho. Uh, we have had um, the hand of, of political parties. And, of course, we have those people who will use the opportunity uh, when something like this comes up, uh, such as people who are well off, who see this as an opportunity for business in occupying many sites and then um, with the intention of selling uh, those sites to other people. Mm -hmm. We should also mention that... Um, the, the portions that seem to be um, being occupied is mostly municipal area, the, uh, part of the municipal area, and um, part of um, land that belongs to the state. Mm. And when the first uh, settlement was was um, erected, we 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 stepped in. As Kosi, we have a saying in Sejuana that says Kosi tutubulu olela matakal meaning uh, all when all things fail then Hossi has to see mm. what happened uh, how to resolve issues and this is what I'm doing and um, I, I would like to put it on record that this is has nothing really to do with uh, the traditional authority um, because people should understand and and the nation of Barolong know very well that I have been in office just for a few months and mm. I came in with the goal of development. I have said we have uh, lodged an application with government for the transfer of land because we do not have total control of the land of Tabanchu. Mm. And we, this is part of the reason when you listen to the people's complaints, they talk about um, some people who've been waiting on the uh, waiting lists for about five, six years. Some are widows and some um, are people who genuinely, truly need housing, need um, their own residential areas. But the large part of them, we cannot say people who are coming from other countries and other provinces um, at the rate that they are coming in now are people who are desperately looking for land. Mm. So um, that's that's the situation we are faced with. Mm. So just very quickly, Kosi, are you saying that, uh, you know, in terms of the fact that the land that has been grabbed either uh, b belongs to the municipality or uh, the national state, uh, is, is are you saying that, you know, your hands are tied in terms of what you can do because of what the law stipulates when land belongs to the state? Yes, um, just a few months ago in November, November 28th, we, we lodged an application to the minister uh, requesting that the land of Baron Bosilika be transferred um, to the traditional authority so that we could move as we want to. And I'd like just to make an example. For instance, when this um, f the first case erupted, I called in all stakeholders, meaning the, the municipality, uh, the Department of Land Reform, to say to them, we have an issue on the table and it must be addressed as soon as possible mm -hmm. before it goes too far. And the turnaround time, the, the, the time of response to ha uh, the challenges that we face is totally unacceptable. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we find ourselves in, in the situation that we are in today. So, um, yes, um, my, my hands are totally tied, yes, mm -hmm. and... 
I think it's it's work in progress. Unfortunately, because of the desperation of the people, because of um, how our our nation has come, uh, the level of patience uh, is a bit uh, low yeah. um, within our community.